Hello beautiful people, it's Oli. Today we will prepare the red snapper and get you ready for a brunch with a punch. You will find this classic cocktail in many of our Tui Blue hotels worldwide. It's part of the pick-me-up cocktails, but in my mind this is also a great aperitif before a long brunch. If you're new to our channel, feel free to click the notification icon so you don't miss a single one of the new videos we'll continue to upload. A like is of course appreciated and please comment as fast as you can type. I'll make sure to reply to each and every one of you. I'm currently at the beautiful Tui Blue Zilt Hotel in the North Sea of Germany. It's lunchtime and the cameraman seems hungry. I hope you have been binge watching this channel and mixing along, so this might be the perfect momento to prepare this super easy cocktail. For me, I am not really a gin drinker, but somehow this cocktail is always the perfect start to that boozy weekend lunch or that day drinking extravaganza. There are several stories about the origins of the Red Snapper. The most credible tells us that Ferdinand Petiot, who was working in the 1930s in the newly renamed Harris New York Bar, was called by management to have his Bloody Mary cocktail renamed into something less vulgar. And vodka was rare during these times. Gin was the main base spirit everyone was drinking. So let's prepare my take on the Red Snapper, just like you might have your very own take on this classic cocktail. We'll start by putting together a spice mix. In a mortar, we grind fresh peppercorns, or if you're lazy like me, you use this handy tool. Then we'll add some celery salt and chili flakes. Now the chili is totally optional, but it gives this nice and spicy kick to the rim. Then make sure to grind this freshly and thoroughly. Take your glass, use a lemon slice and make a nice wedge around the glass. Put the spice mix into a saucer and then rim the glass like so. We'll add a nice sphere and put this in the freezer while we're putting together this drink. This will keep this drink from diluting any further. And then we'll use a mixing glass, add some of our spice mix into it. I'll use a spoon and a half. Season it with Worcester sauce. And I'm adding some Chipotle Tabasco, which is one of my favorite spices. Gives a nice smoky touch to the drink. And as the backbone of this drink, we need a flavor for gin, something that has a lot of backbone. The perfect is Ruta Celery Gin, since celery is the key component of this drink. And I'll be using 40 ml, or 50, or 60. It really depends on your preference. I mean, the Bloody Mary recipe calls for vodka and tomato juice, equal parts. So on these measurements, you can go as crazy as you wish. 20 ml of fresh lemon juice. This brightens the whole composition and keeps this from getting too chewy. And then approximately 100 ml of freshly squeezed tomato juice. I prepared this beforehand using a slow juicer and I will add a link to the video in the comments below so that you can see how to do this. And of course, other great cocktail homemade ingredients. We will give these ingredients a fast stir. This drink is already quite flavorful, so shaking would really overdo it. So just a quick stir. Stirring profusely would overdo it. Shaking would add too much flavor. Next, we will strain this back into our glass. And decorate with a beautiful celery stick. 
This doesn't only look great, but people can also chew on it and it smells totally wonderful while you're drinking the drink. So there we have it, the Red Snapper. Hey, where you're looking at? Now let's go off for lunch. Okay, thanks everyone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give this a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And remember, life is good with a great drink in hand, preferably at your favorite Tweedy Blue Hotel. See you soon. Bye-bye.